there are some people who just cannot give up control. Mm -hmm. They must control the process because no one can clean the house better than them. That may be true, actually. That actually may be true because some OCD people literally clean better than other people. Good point. I, I know them. Like I, yeah. I go into a lot of different people's houses. People's level of what they feel is clean is entirely different. It's it, it spans the spectrum. I get it. But does your does your rental property need to be like completely spit shined? Yeah. By you? Mm, probably not. Probably not. It needs to be clean and ready to show. That's what it needs to be. Yeah. And generally, there are professional people out there who can make that happen for you. So there's two problems here, uh, Heather. One, well, both of them actually are a little bit deeper than most people, I think, like to admit. Yeah. Or even like to think about. I mean, I have some friends who run businesses and they have some control problems. Yeah. And not they trusting. literally cannot let their team do anything without them stepping in and micromanaging everything. Mm hmm. And we've talked about what that does to people in this show before, but in case you missed it, it literally takes all of their desire to do this themselves and it just shocks it right out of them. Mm -hmm. And they will not grow because of it. Um, and on so top of it, you as a business owner is suffering because of it, so. <laughs> yeah, because you can't grow. Nobody wins. There's only, one, there's only one of you. And if you think that you um, can do everything better than everybody else, well, then you're not going to be able to grow because you can't grow past what your capacity is. And as awesome as you feel like you are, you are not that awesome. So um, you literally can't grow past your capacity. And it's the same thing in the rental business. You are going to reach a point where you can no longer physically go and clean the houses. So why not just start out not doing it? And another piece too, is that there's, there's the cleaning business that grows because of it, right? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. then you're in the more mi mindset of everybody wins the abundance mindset versus trying to think of every little, which way you can save your pennies. So I think that that piece of um, owning remotely, um, is so, so wonderful to be removed enough from it that that's not an option for, so I, I do have a little bit of a, I can do it better type of, um, personality. <laughs> I just like to point out that Heather generally can do it better. <laughs> He's one of the anomalies where actually that might be true. <laughs> However, I love that it's distant enough that those issues can't come into play, right? I can't drive by and just do it myself or introduce myself to my tenants. Um, that those that there is a separation is actually really good for me. Yeah, because so. um, because she probably could do it better. She likely would if it was yeah. right there. Right. Yep. Oh. Yep. <laughs> um, and and Heather, we've had this conversation a, a, a lot that. It doesn't really serve anybody very well for someone to jump in and do it for them. Like they, mm -hmm. they never learn, they never grow. Um, and then you can't learn and grow into something else either or into something yeah. more. So if you're looking to grow a portfolio, you're literally sabotaging yourself by, by trying to do everything yourself. And, and I, oh, in, a, in, so in addition, you, if you just go buy properties that work, then you don't have to do it. I think I find a lot of these people, they do it out of necessity, Heather, because they good point. their properties don't cash flow. Yeah, that's a good point. I would add another layer to this conversation in uh -oh. that when you own a property and you start micromanaging your property manager in, in a way that undermines them and then they don't really like working for you. I mean, there's, there is that dynamic that I've seen building with a couple of um, situations right now. And so sometimes it's that you need to fire your property manager. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes you need to get a new relationship there, but also not trusting that they're doing their job. So I'll give a short example is I closed on a triplex in December and I closed knowing it wasn't ready yet because I needed the tax write off, right? Mm -hmm. So it was a full maybe 30 days before it was rent ready. And 
I reached out to the property manager and I said, hey, did you get the keys? Like just making sure the loop was closed that, you know, she's ready to market the property. She said, no, I don't have them yet, but I expect I'll get them next week. I reached out next week. Hey, did you get the keys? Right. Doing my part to make sure my property was under management. And then by within a week, I didn't, I didn't reach out back again. She said she had said she got the keys and that she was going to start managing and uh, marketing the units. And there were three units and this is early February. <laughs> and I didn't reach out again for maybe less than a week actually. And she said, okay, um, all three units are placed. I mean, tenants are placed in all three units and I need a management agreement, Heather, you haven't signed it. <laughs> and I was like, oh crap. Right? So. <laughs> she knew her stuff she did her job i did my part in saying hey just making sure that the seller gave you the keys right like just making sure that my piece is closed and then i i didn't even really worry about the rentability and i didn't even have time to worry because she got her stuff done right and all three units are, are rented so and within the rent range early February, it was amazing. But trusting your property manager that this is their expertise, this is what they do every day. Um, following up is fine, but losing, you know, making making your job become, I've gotta, I've gotta do this and make sure my property manager's doing all the steps, right? Where are you marketing the property? I've seen that a lot lately. I have looked online, I don't see your listings and all those things. Like <laughs> just not, just trusting your property manager, I guess, to do their job.